Welcome to Ream Tech Tips. Ream New Zealand Limited does not in any way endorse the installation or maintenance of Ream products by an unlicensed practitioner. The work shown in this video is provided as a guide only. Full instruction manuals are available online from my Ream Pro. This time we're going to show how to check and diagnose electronic ignition faults on Ream Series 2 gas continuous flow water heaters. If the burner does not ignite during the ignition sequence, error code 11 will be displayed. We know from the information in Tech Tips number 5 this can be caused by multiple faults. Here we're going to cover the igniter problems. With the unit powered and water flowing to hot taps, check for spark at the burner. The ignition spark is visible through the sight glass, which we've removed here so the camera can see. If there is no spark at the igniter, check the voltage being supplied to the igniter. Use a multimeter set on the DC volt scale. The voltage at the igniter during the ignition sequence should be between 9 to 15 volts DC. The multimeter will need to be connected during the full ignition sequence as the voltage is only applied for approximately 3 seconds but is repeated 5 times before going to error 11. If the correct voltage is seen, check the spark electrode for damage and ensure the ignition lead is attached firmly. If there is no visible fault, Replace the igniter assembly and spark electrode. If no voltage is detected, check the wiring loom is connected onto the PCB at connector I. If the loom is good and connected, the fault is with the PCB, which should be replaced. Thanks for watching, and don't forget. Full product details, spare parts, installation and service manuals are all available through my Ream Pro. Also, our nationwide service centre network can provide further product support if required. So just reach out to the team.